are from the beginning. Can give me anything from the beginning. I was born in a hospital, like any other human. When I was born, the doctor, it wasn't the doctor that put me that diagnosed me. I had to go to Children's Hospital, and then it was my main surgeon, a guy named Dr. Bartlett, who diagnosed me with cranial facial disorder, which is why I look this way. And then I think it was like two weeks out, I got my first head surgery. There's footage of me as like a little baby with a big scar going from here all the way to here. Part of it was to try to just improve my quality of life, having birth defects. And a part of it too was, like with my forehead, there wouldn't have been enough room for my brain to grow. And was it becoming painful? It wasn't just becoming painful, it was a case of if we don't do these surgeries later on, there could be worse problems. Mm. Outside of having so many guitars that I forget what tuning they're in until I pick it up and I'm like, wait, what did I leave this in last time? Oh. Oh yeah, this is still up. It's a little out, but. The first time I picked up the guitar, I was about like four or five years old. My parents were watching Ozzy Osbourne's Life of Budokan movie, which has uh, Ozzy Osbourne and Zach Wilde on guitar. And I want to say they're playing the song Suicide Solution. I don't even remember what song I locked in on. It might have been that song because I remember that was when Zach would do his a cappella guitar solo where it's just him wailing. And just seeing him with a Les Paul up there, just absolutely tearing it up. And the camera would turn to the crowd and everyone was just gobsmacked and blown away by what he was doing. Me being four or five years old, I basically pointed at the TV and said, I want to be like that guy. Having a dad that was into guitar back in the 70s really worked out. Because some, uh, some people ask, like, dude, how did you get some of this vintage equipment? Because I've sold this worth a lot of money now, and I'm like, oh, my dad got it back in the day when it was new, mm -hmm. or used. Like, you know, they bought it not knowing that 50 years later, everyone would be, like, killing each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my dad sold that shoe in the 70s. Pretty much all stock, except for the strap pegs, but this is an upgrade. <laughs> One time I accidentally saw the bill for one of them and it was like 80 grand or like something. I think it was like 100 grand for like my lower jaw when I got both jaws worked on. Like the upper jaw was covered, but the lower jaw originally wasn't. Because the insurance originally viewed it as like cosmetics, so they don't cover cosmetics. But, you know, the surgeon was like, no, this is necessary. So they were able to fix it. But for just like one jaw, it was at 100k. Or something like that. Dude, that's insane. Oh, yeah. And how many, like, surgeries total has it been? I want to say like 20, 22. 22. Something like that. 
And then essentially at that every there's a point in time where like once a year I'd have I'd have some and then basically cut around here and pretty much folded my face over and then put in a forehead because I didn't have a forehead so it's just tied in and play it. And I kind of see it here too where it didn't feel up right. Yeah that was like a six month process. It had started in February and then it ended in like August like when it was all over with. I think, in, I think it was like either June or July. Right. When they took it off. That was a good, that was a good day. So if we take guitar out of your life, who are you? How would you describe yourself if you didn't identify with guitar so heavily? I, I don't think I'd really be anyone. I, I, I honestly can't, it's hard to answer that. I just can't imagine my life without guitar. <laughs> There's a song called Mama, I'm Coming Home, and then there's the... Another thing I think was actually after I graduated college because I did kind of have that okay I have a like 3.2 3.3 GPA so I'm thinking okay graduated from Berkeley I have a degree and a pretty good GPA so I should be able to find a job like that and then I would apply for jobs and then get told yeah we're gonna you know hey I think we're good and then I look online and see them repost the job list, and then I call them about it, and they just said, "Yeah, now nah, we're not gonna hire you." So then a lot of times I would start questioning, "Well, did they find someone better, or do they just not like the way I look?" Uh, I have even been told when I would audition for stuff, "Oh, you're really good, but you just don't have the right look." And I'd be like, "But what does it matter if my playing is good?" 